Ruthless Toolbox Training. My name is Mike Riley, your trainer once again. Uh, today we're going to work with a tool called ChatGPT, which many people think is the future of search. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll put it to the test. Uh, it's called ChatGPT. Um, before we get started, though, uh, just a little reminder, the Journalist Toolbox uh, at journalisttoolbox.org uh, is a site I've operated for the last 27 years. Uh, offers all things digital and data journalism, as well as many other topics related to uh, uh, journalists. Um, uh, it has training videos, which you can usually find in the upper right-hand corner here, and also on this little link in the upper right-hand corner. You are watching one of these right now, so you're probably on our YouTube channel. Uh, but just as a reminder, this channel has more than 80 training videos on it uh, that range anywhere from three minutes up to about 15 uh, it covers all kinds of different apps and tools and gadgets that are helpful to journalists. Uh, we also have a newsletter that you can sign up for. It's in the upper right hand corner here. Just click on newsletter. Uh, it's a sub stack that comes out every other Tuesday morning, typically around 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, again, uh, it focuses typically on one tool or a set of tools. Uh, you can usually get through it in about five minutes. Uh, it doesn't take me uh, uh, long or take you long to get through it. Uh, usually has a training video built into it, either one that I've done, or in this case, uh, a great one that uh, Ryan, my friend Rob Montgomery did on uh, how to move over to Mastodon, um, if you're tired of Twitter, uh, and also uh, some other tools uh, at the bottom. So it is a pretty quick little read. Uh, and get through it pretty uh, pretty fast. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Jern Toolbox. Uh, you can reach out to me uh, at any time through here. Uh, if you follow me, I'll follow you back. Uh, I tweet uh, all things digital and data journalism here. Uh, also retweet a lot of really smart people. Um, so if you're still on Twitter, uh, you know, feel free to uh, follow me. Uh, I am on Mastodon as well. Um, and uh, my Mastodon link uh, is right up here in my Twitter uh, bio. Uh, important thing to know. Uh, so let's go into chat, get into uh, chat GPT. And this is a, a tool that was uh, uh, developed uh, in uh, uh, late 2022, uh, fourth quarter of 2022. Uh, and you can access it. And if you want to hit the pause button here to do so, chat.openai.com, chat.openai.com. So if you want to pause the video right now, open that up, uh, set up a free account. You can do it through your Google login if you wish. Uh, and uh, log into the tool so you have it open and I'll demo it here in a minute. Um, so if you want to hit the pause button and do that, go ahead. All right, welcome back for those of you that uh, set up your OpenAI uh, chat uh, account. Uh, this is ChatGPT. Um, it is a tool that is still in uh, beta um, and you can offer them feedback on it, uh, either through a thumbs up, thumbs down on each of the searches, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, they also have a Discord uh, account uh, that's linked off of the, the page and you can go in and give them feedback there. Um, uh, it's an open AI tool. Uh, so uh, buyer beware, uh, Elon Musk helped start open AI, uh, but he is no longer on their board or affiliated with this tool. But still, uh, yeah, I know that upsets a lot of people. So I wanted you to know that up front. Uh, the tool interacts with you in a very conversational way. Um, some of you may have worked with, uh, you know, AI tools before where, you know, maybe you log into a, an online shopping site, uh, you know, CarMax, Carvana do this. Uh, uh, many car lots uh, do this as well. When you log into their uh, uh, page, it has a little chat bot that opens in the lower right hand corner. How may I help you? And, and it'll recognize, you know, a few questions, things like that. and has some pre-programmed pre -programmed answers. Um, you know, you tend to get frustrated with them. They don't work that well. Well, this tool is taking it and, and expanding it to a much broader horizon with more content, more uh, answers, uh, and, and you have the ability to ask uh, follow-up questions. Um, it'll admit mistakes and challenge uh, incorrect premises. Uh, it'll reject inappropriate requests, and I'll do a couple, so uh, it'll, it'll, uh, you'll see how it does that. Um, it, it's a little slow, uh, and it doesn't cite all, all sources, at least not yet. It does cite, in some cases, its sources, or it doesn't provide a link to sources. It's not searching the web, so to speak. Uh, and it does struggle with anything after 2021, so it's not as current. But if you're looking for more historical stuff and more how-to stuff, it's very popular among the tech community. You know, how do I write code that does this? How do I do that? And I'll show you some examples here in, in just a minute. Um, so that's a synopsis of what the tool is. Um, uh, I see this as kind of a supplemental tool uh, to, you know, a Google search or Bing or, you know, Yahoo or whatever. 
um, DuckDuckGo or whatever you're using. Um, I also see one of these search companies, probably Google, buying this tool uh, and adding it in as another layer because Google's very big on conversational uh, uh, search. You know, uh, think about the questions that you type into Google. Um, uh, a lot of times, that's you know, uh, that's what they're aiming for. So Chat GPT, uh, uh, it, you know, kind of dovetails nicely into what Google's already doing, but does it in a much different way. Um, so when you come to the site, it, it gives you some you know examples of uh, queries you can do, and it tells you you know its capabilities and its limitations. Keep in mind, it is uh, a tool that's still uh, in development. Um, so. Uh, you know, offer feedback on it uh, to them when you can. Uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt for now, but you know, I, I see a lot of potential for this tool. Um, it could be even something, you know, uh, technology that you wind up developing with your website uh, and uh, being able to offer answers like that. I think about Journalist Toolbox, and this would be a really cool little open source tool to be able to implement in, into Journalist Toolbox and, and people can find answers. At the bottom is a search field. I think you know, once it moves out of beta, you'll see the search field up here, very simple interface. Um, you could go in here and you could type in, um, oh, how do I code a link in HTML? I'll start with kind of a techie question, okay? And you'll sit here for a minute and it starts to give you some results. It's running pretty fast right now. It's a little slower earlier today. And then it gives you a demo uh, in here of how to write the code. It explains what href stands for, which is great. So this is actually in my digital journalism class, an essay question on, on my, or short answer essay question on my midterm exam. And the answer's right here. Although the exam is closed book, okay? So if you don't get the result you want, you can hit try again and, and, and try uh, a, a different, you know, look, try to look up a different answer. Let's try something that's not quite as so techy. So let's say I'm doing a uh, story on the gross domestic uh, product of India. Now keep in mind, I kept this very open-ended. I didn't cite a specific year. I'm sorry, but I can't browse the internet. I can't provide you with the current pro, uh, gross domestic product of India, okay? So it's only what I'm trained on. You know, it's not a web search tool, but it's it goes in and it searches for answers in its own database. So let me see here if I'm a little more specific. If I go in and say, what is the gross domestic? I could do GB, uh, GDP too um, and, and abbreviate it. Of India before... 2021. You can do a question mark with it too if it makes you feel better, but you don't have to. Now, if I'm asking for it before 2021, remember earlier I said, you know, it's limited to uh, uh, 20, anything after 2021, it won't look up. You know, it'll start updating and you'll get 2022 data in here in 2023. But it does look it up and find it if I'm specific, you know, if prior to 2021, what was it? Uh, you know, it says in 2019, you know, here it was. Um, so it gives me uh, the answer. Um, so, uh, you know, if I'm looking for um, what is a great pizza place in Chicago, and there are many, uh, again, it, it's not searching the web. It won't be able to give you, you know, stuff like that that you, know, you can go to Google and readily find or Bing or whatever. Um, but again, you know, you see the conversational tone in this. You can ask follow-up questions. Um, you know, I could do that, you know, with the coding one here. I could follow up on the gross domestic product, maybe ask some more questions about uh, India's economy uh, and really dig a little deeper. You could also uh, rate their answers. Uh, so, you know, I can give that one a thumbs up. Um, you know, perfect answer. Uh, and they're looking for that feedback. You know, it helps them uh, improve. It's machine learning, so it improves this uh, uh, search uh, experience. But, you know, Google's done that for years. Uh, um, so uh, this is... Uh, Chat GPT, um, set up an account and experiment with it a little bit. Uh, I think it's uh, worth exploring. Don't be surprised to start seeing this tool show up in some of your uh, favorite search engines uh, in the next few years. If Google uh, or one of the search engines don't buy it, I definitely think uh, that they're going to uh, create something very similar to it. Um, keep in mind too on uh, Journalist Toolbox, uh, you can go into the Browse Topics area. We do have a whole section on search engines 
uh, that you can open up here in the little pull down menu. Sometimes you'll find it on the home page here or out here on the uh, right rail. Um, but it has all kinds of different search tools, guides, uh, all, how to use uh, Google search, things like that. I've got a few training videos in here, including this one. So uh, do take advantage of these uh, and uh, hope you found it useful.